everyone my name is Odette today I'm going to be cooking huckleberry it's called jaman jama this wonderful vegetable is eaten all over Cameroon especially by the Nso and Beacon people in the northwest region of Cameroon there are many ways of cooking these vegetables you can use melon seed which is a goosey or tomatoes today I'm going to be cooking the huckleberry with some fresh tomatoes from our garden onions, heavy narrow pepper, smoked fish, my meat, crayfish, two bouillon cube, and a teaspoon of salt. I like it. A small bit, it doesn't matter to me. I just like take it like this, keep the stems aside. We're going to put that in our garden to make wonderful manure. And make sure you take the flowers out. Yeah. My water is boiling. While I'm doing this, my water is boiling. So that's it. That's how you fix it. I'm done picking the vegetables. Now I'm just watering properly. Vegetables with sand. No way. This is our delicacy, so if you know what it means to eat with sand now. So you have to rinse it properly and take out all the sand. If you're using the ones that the leaves are small, I don't think you can cut it, but I don't like the thing to be too big, so I just go like this thing. Just cut it like that. That's it. The water is boiling, I'll just go ahead and put the jamma jamma. Yeah, look at that. Just put it in. Mm -hmm. When it starts boiling, I think it withers. So put that. While the vegetable is boiling, I'm just chop my onions. You can use as much onions as you like. Oh, I'm gonna be careful with the onions. Let's tear you up. Yep. And then goes my tomatoes. Oh lord, this tomatoes look so fresh from our garden. Can you believe it? Awesome. There's just nothing as good as eating things that are so fresh from your garden. Amazing. Yeah. You can use as much tomatoes as you like. My vegetables. I love tomatoes. They just give your food a good, good taste. Be very careful holding the pot, it's very hard to so just strain it. I'm not going to put any water there, nice and green. I'm just going to strain it, not too much because I don't want the vegetable to be too dry. I like that. It smells so good. Oh, just bring it. This is about two tablespoons of palm oil. I just like the some. Vegetable oil or olive oil, but I like palm oil. In goes my onions. Mm -hmm. yeah. my tomatoes. I boiled my tomatoes a little bit because so. I just reduce the acidity of the tomatoes. But if you have time to stir and cook it, fine. I'm gonna take everything because this wonderful vegetable is so difficult to find. So we have it every summer. When we have it, we'll make sure we have the best out of it to enjoy it. I love the way it came out so nice and green. I have. We are going to be eating our huckleberry round jam and jamma with corn flour. Corn fufu is corn fufu corn. I like the yellow corn meal. You can use white corn meal, but the yellow corn meal is awesome. I always like to take a little bit of the fufu like that because you don't want it to be too lumpy that's why i'm putting a little bit of fufu first just like mix the fufu all together you don't want you have to do it so fast this is how you 
this is something like very very risky yeah. be careful you don't always make sure you have your water ready to go The reason why I'm stirring it so fast is because I don't want the fufu to be lumpy. Yeah. It's very nice. It's really nice and smooth. The reason why you cook it so fast is because you don't want it to be lumpy. Nobody likes lumpy fufu. Yep, really. That's it. All nice and really wow look at that see how nice and green it is easy to make wow eating this brings a lot of old memories to me because huckleberry is my favorite vegetable please go ahead and subscribe thanks for watching put a comment and a thumbs up if you like this video bye